So, um, I'm gonna do like the top five part one, part two. Uh, it's because when I watched the video, my roommate walked, I was like, oh shit, and I just turned off the reaction immediately because you know, it's all kind of stuff from the fucking video, but fuck it, boo ball. Continue. No, it's apparently, if you guys didn't see the part one, they're just in an abandoned fucking prison in Canada, I believe. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah. What? Ray? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, Lou, hey. Krista is freaked out when she hears shuffling footsteps in the hallway near her, and then hears a voice that she thinks is fellow investigator Rafe. But there's just one problem. At the time, Rafe is in a completely different part of the building, filming with the other team investigators. I'm going to do the report. Nothing ever happens to me. I'm fine. Yeah, but it. maybe it will. Okay, fine. I'll sit there. Just for like 20 Got seconds. Okay, fine. Did I cross? Can't tell. I'm the same way, so I tend to just be behind the camera. Which is more fun. It is. It is. Krista is all alone while team members Rafe, Kelly, and James are doing a separate investigation in another part of the jail. In fact, when Krista calls out, the other team member's camera captures them in real time running over to check on Krista. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah, okay. What? I didn't think get out of here. No, we are in the room through the ball and he Watching the footage, the investigators believe that a spirit might have mimicked Rafe's voice. You can I'm watch this. I'm going to like more like when I go on TikTok, I mean, uh, not TikTok, Instagram Reels, or just these videos in general. It's like more mimic ghosts, like like Skinwalkers. Oh, Skinwalker story time coming soon, maybe. Entire investigation at the SDG Jail over on the YouTube channel, Walking Among Us. Who waits in the woods? So this is Noah. Noah is not a YouTuber. He's not a TikToker. In fact, he's not a quote influencer of any kind. Noah is just a guy who posted one single video to the internet about something that happened to him that scared the living shit out of him. You see, Noah was driving late one night in the deep isolated woods of Sun River, Oregon. He was getting a bit Some tired river. late one night in the deep isolated woods of Sun River, Oregon. I've been he was working. getting a bit sleepy, so he decided to pull off onto a desolate country road in the woods to take a nap in the back of his truck. As you can probably guess, Bad idea. it did not Despite the well. sleep. So I was originally not going to make this video, but a few days ago I was camping in Sun River. Oh, I thought it was some What some I thought would river. be a good location to pull over to the side of the road in like this. forest area and sleep which I thought no one was really around I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now I don't even know what time it is and there's someone walking around my truck right now if you can hear that it's pretty loud um he's been walking around for like to do. I'm a little freaked out right now, 
answer that would be too. It's like pitch black outside. Probably like two in the morning. And he just keeps walking around a scared road. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never escape from wherever. I don't think he knows that in there that there's anyone in here. I'm so scared. Eventually, whoever this person was wandered off and left Noah in peace. But the next morning, when Noah cautiously gets out of his truck, there's some creepy evidence left behind. So I'm back home. This is the day after. Um, he was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. Um, imprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from yeah, probably Trevor around. Phillips. That's new. Uh, don't know how that got there. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah, that was the result. So, that was probably the scariest camping experience I've probably ever had in my entire life. Never sleep on the side of the Bannon Road. <clears throat> now, the strangest thing about this entire incident is that Noah was parked off the road, in the woods, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. And whoever this person was outside <laughs> had no flashlight and never spoke a single word while skulking around Noah's truck all night long. Probably just like a so speaker or just okay. who was this? And what did he want? Maybe Noah is lucky that he never found out. Hider in the house. Mamo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, are worried that a vengeful female spirit followed them home from one of their investigations. The couple says that they now experience frequent paranormal activity in their home that terrifies both them and their children. A few months ago, we featured Memo and Patty's story as they began broadcasting their experiences live on YouTube in an attempt to prove that their paranormal encounters at the are point, real. If someone follows you home, I don't know what you do at the point. Call priests? I don't know. Oh, I think I've seen this clip. One night, they were woken up by weird sounds coming from outside their bedroom door. When this happened. Oh, that was. I think I've seen this clip though. On like a reaction video. Check and see. How long is the ventana? There's a tall house ghost. That night, the terrifying activity of the ghost in the ABA. Mama and Patty's home has only intensified. And the couple continues to live stream their experiences right on YouTube. Another night, and the family is already live streaming as they arrive home. They are answering some questions from their curious live viewers when something happens that is truly bizarre. <laughs> Did you see it? Yep. As the family is getting out of the car, Memo randomly pans his phone's camera past the house's window for just a second. 
But in that brief moment, a bizarre dark silhouette can be seen standing in their mm -hmm. living room. Burn the house down. Even though the house should be completely empty. Memo and his family have no idea what they just caught on camera until viewers watching their live stream start to alert them. Now, Memo tries to debunk the strange apparition, hoping that it was nothing more than a reflection. But he can find Maybe. no explanation for who or Dude, you guys are getting haunted by the last fucking and 2000 years. And only get worse from here. Another night, and Memo starts to broadcast a live stream to YouTube to show the weird prints that he found on his car that was parked in their garage all day. Suddenly, he hears loud banging coming from a storage room okay. inside the house. He hurries inside, and what happens next is truly disturbing. Can I say? Well, I... Can I say? Oh shit. Oh shit. He got blue, he got blue. Oh shit. Creo que se metió un animal. Fuck. Hola. Is my shit? No mames. The children's playhouse suddenly moves by itself and just slides right across the floor. Memo fears that an animal has gotten into the playhouse. He frantically checks inside and out. There's nothing there. You see the fucking dudes? They really was you fucking dumbass. Did you see it? Something that looks like a see very you. tall figure with a shadowy face can be seen peeking out at Memo from behind a shelf. Again, mm -hmm. Memo doesn't see it and is completely <laughs> unaware of what just happened until his live stream audience points it out. Telling him to go look behind that shelf. Aquí. Y what? Ven. Es ropa vacía. Spirit that Memo and Patty claim. It's up to you. You decide. Thanks so much. Thank you guys for the video. All right. Uh, I knew this for us now. Bye bye. Uh, fuck ghosts.